In this short video, I will show you how to make light gobos and god rays in Blender with the most easy and fast way. Now, for those who don't know what we're talking about, light gobos are what we use in 3D to mimic real life shadows. And we get those either by placing an object between the light source and the shadow catcher, aka the floor, or we use a direct texture inside the light. And for the god rays, this is a clear example of it. Now, in any Blender scene you're on, make sure to switch to Cycles, then put the world light on black or zero strength. Then let us add a lamp in the scene, a spot or an area one, and place it over the model. I will also add a cube to use it as a volume. So once you add one, go to the materials, remove the surface node, then add a principal volume. We can now control the density of this volume alongside the lamp settings. So 0 0.08 for the density and a power of 50 for the lamp as a start. I will also switch the area lamp to a disc shape and then make the spread value on one to get a sharp light from it. And with the size now, we can expand the lamp area to cover the one we need. To add some light texture into this, let us switch to the node editor. Make sure the light is selected and hit the Use Node option up top. The light now became more of an emission node set and we can play with it similar to any node tree. In the color slot, try to add a wave texture and if your Node Wrangler add-on already enabled, hit Control T to add the texture coordinate and mapping nodes and just play with the numbers to get a satisfying result. You can now increase the spread value a bit for more blurred edges or maybe change the light color or the color of the volume. Also go online and search for light gobos and light textures as PNG files, then use an image texture to import them to your light set. I'm sure that would be fun, but stay away from weird stuff, mate. And that's it. Like and share if you care. And see you guys next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.